Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about large versus loud sound. Quantity is not quality. I get this a lot on the phone and in room forums. Good example of this is putting your subs in the corners of the room. You put your subs in the corners of the room, you invoke room gain, room distortion, and our goal is to not have three to six dB of room distortion. It's like the medical profession, do no harm. Well, you put your subs in the corner, you'll get a little bit smoother response, but a high price to pay because you're getting that response with distortion and it's audible. Move your sub out of the corner, how does it sound? Put it anywhere in the room, just get it out of the corner, get it away from the walls, put it in the middle of the room. That's the sound that's free from boundary surface, or at least minimized from boundary surface issues. Large sound is a big sound stage. We have a big sound stage in our theater room, 17 foot across, maybe 20. So it's big, and that's what you want. Now, loud, you don't want. Loud is gain for the sake of gain. You don't want that. Equipment doesn't operate well at high levels. You know, there's not narrow band ranges where preamps, amps, and speakers work best. And you know that if you've listened to your system at all. We want a large sound stage with resolution. The more energy you put in a room below 125 hertz, it increases all that modal pressure. And, you know, that's the thing that exaggerates and attenuates. We can't hear, we hear too much and we can't hear anything. Difference between a 10 inch and a 12 inch driver is two dB in output. That's why you gotta match the output of the low frequency drivers, the number of low frequency drivers to the volume of the room and the usage. L loud sound is a quantity of energy. It's a lot of energy. Guys call me and tell me all the time, well, I can get 130 dB in my room. Well, two things I have to say about that. Who cares? And why are you damaging your hearing? We get 140 dB in our theater room, but I don't do it. I've done it a few times just to see what we could do. It's not pretty. It's not the highest resolution we can achieve in the room. It's loud. You know, we. I'll do it sometimes to exercise the four 13 and a half inch drivers, but you know, they lose resolution quickly too. Biggest thing about subwoofers is please keep up, you know, have enough speed in the mechanism, the cabinet, the, the, the electronics and the driver uh, composition to, to keep up. That's where I find most subwoofers lacking. They just can't keep up with the presentation value of it. I get it. It's a big surface area and you got to move fast and produce a lot of energy. But you would think by now we could do that. I remember it was Velodyne back in the day, had a servo mechanism on the driver that kept it from extending to the point of distortion. And that was kind of interesting. They did get some definition on it and care for their products, but must have pressure balance throughout the room, must have reflection management for the middle and high frequencies. Now, this reflection management has to have two parts. You have to have an overall reverb time in the room that's balanced throughout the room. But just as important, the primary, secondary, and tertiary reflections from our speakers have to be managed. Everybody knows about the primary. That's this one, right? But what about this? The primary going across the wall, that's secondary, and then it comes back. There's three. That's why when we treat, our treatment always extends this way because you want to manage those three reflections. We want large sound stage with a big sound, large sound, okay? That's the goal, and we want resolution. And you must have both pressure and reflection balance. Now, a lot of people, they can't afford low frequency management. I get it. It takes a lot of space and you have to treat all four walls, floor and ceiling if you're serious. So if you don't have the budget to treat low frequencies, then treat middle and highs. I'll tell you what's gonna happen in two or three months after you do that, you're gonna find the money to treat the pressure issues. 
because they're going to become more pronounced. This is what happens in acoustics. As you start treating surface areas and minimizing the impact of those surface areas, you really start to hear the untreated ones. We go through this with churches all the time. Churches don't have much money, so they look for ways to minimize. So let's say in a long rectangular room, we treat the sidewalls. Okay. I'll tell you, 30, 60 days, they're coming back with budget to treat the rest of the surface areas. Because those untreated surface areas, I don't want to use the term get louder, but psychoacoustically, that's what happens. You begin to hear them more. In an untreated room, you can't tell which surface area is producing which problem. I can, because I've been doing this for a long time, but the average person cannot. So the goal here is to make sure you get good reflection management, balanced reverb times throughout the room. And the only way you're going to get that is to treat all the offending surface areas that are causing the problem. We must have pressure balance and reflection balance throughout the room if we're going to make a difference between loud versus large sound. You can do it. We've done it many, many times. That's why we like the 13-foot ceilings. Sure does, goes a long way to give that soundstage height, and height is a wonderful thing. With, yeah, we can do that, but today's speakers and electronics are pretty good. But that height, magical. Large versus loud sound. I hope this helps. Thank you. Thank you for watching this video, and if you liked it, please give us a thumbs up. We also have a newsletter that you can subscribe to, so please do that because we offer special price discounts to only those on our newsletter. And then don't forget about our forum. We have started a forum on our own website where people ask questions and I usually get a chance every couple of days to look at it. There's an interchange between people on the forum and we'll give you real answers uh, on a regular basis. So that'll help you. Thank you.